I'm going to show you how I use Go High Level to build a complete backend system for a salon. Now we're gonna cover a few things. So we're gonna cover website building, creating each section for their own personal services, then connect each to a calendar with payment, run automations, and lastly, build a CRM with SmartList for the client, okay? So we're doing quite a lot. Think of it like building the engine for business. Go High Level gives you every part and I'm showing you how to essentially put it all together without writing a single line of code. But most people don't get beyond a calendar and a simple website because they've never seen the software being used like this as the literal control center of an actual business's operation. Okay, so let's get right into it now. Before we start, please like the video. I'm not selling a course. I don't have a free course to rub your email then blast you with loads, tons of different things. So please like the video and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and build the website out now. You can use one of the Go High Level Work templates. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead with this one right here. Um, one of my snapshots you can get for free. If you join the affiliate program, link in description, plus all these benefits here. Okay, so here's a hair salon um, website template. So what I'm going to do is first, let's get a logo. So let's go to Canva. Let's create a logo. Okay, let's check the background is whitish so we need a black um black logo so um what can work let's pick let's just pick something like this okay so of course when you've gone on google maps or you found a business if you put their name in okay so let's go to share let's go to download let's go to save let's go to background remover let's put this in here now backgrounds removed let's go to preview back to high level let's click on our logo let's go down 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 let's find it here we go logo in menu brand logo click this drop this in here and here we are boom perfect um this book now looks super okay cool looks fine i thought it looked a bit fat before okay and here that does not look very good so what we can do is the way i've added that in is if you go here you scroll down logo showcase boom there you go so that's essentially what all it is okay so for here we let's just add some salon stuff okay so first let's make this all white so it goes it fits the background so white white and white i'm just gonna get two more images and put them in so okay so i've just put um some logos in that can suit this niche okay now what we're gonna do i'm gonna show you how we're gonna create each section for their services okay so what we're gonna do is go here go to rows go to three column and put it right there okay so we want three columns for each thing they do so a majority of the time it starts with the image on each of them so we can duplicate this twice and move it into the next one move that into the next one like that then we need to put a title under each so let's go here put a title under each drag and drop just like that now let's make sure our border is there so let's go to full border okay and let's corner off the edges like so okay then we can have a little paragraph under each so let's go that twice and put that in there we also can put bullet bullet points under two have it like that okay then of course we need a button underneath each let's copy that twice put it under each like so okay so these buttons obviously are too close so let's move that out the way just like that 23 that's fine let's go here 23 go here 23 perfect perfect let's round off these corners too so let's go to full border and let's go to border radius 25 let's create a bit of space between each let's go here let's create a bit of space between each again let's make sure we add a full border because we're just creating this out and we also need to put this at 25 because i believe maybe this one was more than 25 50 okay let's make them all 50 okay just like that now now we should go onto google images and find images that we can put on here so let's say they have three different services so one can be like so hair services nail services make up services and i'm sure we're going to create a calendar together 
But whenever they click this button, it takes them onto that calendar. Automations fire off, payments on that calendar. I'm going to go crazy with this, okay? So let's put images for each of these. So the way you do that, you click on the image, you scroll down, you go to general, scroll down, then where is this image? You come here and you upload whatever image you want. Okay, cool. Now what we can do is just to make this maybe look a bit better. I'm just playing around with it. Make these black maybe and have the writing be white. I just want to see how that looks. Yeah, that looks okay so let's do that these buttons too okay so we don't want to say click here to sign up we want it to say um hair services book now put all of them so book now book now book now like just like that and these buttons look very ugly so what we're going to do is go to general what we can do is if you just go to styles and we make this maybe full width you no know, fluid custom space life flat Maybe we can have a life flat and glowing. This is all it is. Majority of it is just seeing what works, what doesn't work, type of thing. So if you just go here. Okay, let's add a border to it. Let's see how that looks. Full border. Let's round off it completely. Let's make this black. How does that look? Looks nice. Looks fine. But maybe you don't want the background not lying flat. Maybe you want it custom. Maybe you want the background color to be white maybe cream brown okay i think that white looks nice now what we can do is we don't have to do that all up process all over again we can delete this copy this twice put that there and put this over here like so so now let's make sure the buttons work like make sure they do something so book now book now book now so when they click book now we want them to go to a page where they can um, uh, go book hair services, nail services, or makeup services. So we need to go create those pages. One thing I didn't forget to mention is that it's good to add box shadows onto each of these. It just makes it pop out a bit more and you can play with the box shadows how you like. As you see, just nice little pop on the edges on the, on the right, okay? So that looks pretty decent now. Cool, so I'm gonna go now make pages. Let's do hair services first. So we want one calendar for hair. So let's go back. Let's go to calendars. Let's go to calendar settings. Okay, so let's go to new calendar, service booking, hair services, staff members, hairdresser one, hairdresser two, URL to put hair services. That's fine. Let's go to advanced settings. Okay, service logo. So service logo, we, we would put their own logo in. So let's say this was their logo. Cool. And then obviously in my stuff, we can check, we can filter hairdresser one, hairdresser two's availability there. Saturday, Sunday, that's fine. Intervals, these two always want to be matching. Okay. If you want that one on one support, if you use my affiliate link, first thing in the description, you get 30 day free trial with high level, plus all these benefits here. So it's no brainer. One on one support with me my snapshots my sales scripts my wireless level presentations plus everything there i'm not gonna bore you but yeah so that's a no-brainer and if you've already got an account and you want to join my affiliate link uh, just email me or put in the comments and we'll jump on a call and we'll go from there made your scheduling notice mainly for these business owners they don't need scheduling notice so maybe just also depends on the people ask them cool we're gonna run automations payments so we can accept payments let's say this cost 50 pound just like so like so and make that live notifications we're going to do that um in the other way uh service image so here is where we want to put an image of hair getting cut do i have one we can also change like the color of the calendars the primary color the background color of the calendar if we want i'll keep it the way it is Okay, so what we can do once we create those three calendars for these three different services, so hair, nails, and makeup, we can group them together. So if you go to here, press new group, and then add these calendars in. So move to group, add the calendars into the group. You can have it like this. So for example, just for example, shit's sake, I can show you. So you can have it like this, where... Uh, is all, all the calendars grouped together and the price is there they come in click which hairdresser they want and go from there 
or you can have it when they click this button when they click uh, the button under here uh, it says book now it takes them onto the page just for hair services that's what i'm gonna do okay so now we need to create a new page for the hair services we've got the nails and makeup you do the same thing for them as well before we make a new page one thing is great to do this to save this for example so come here press save the top part we want to save the top and bottom okay so we'll save this top top part to global section press that press save press that and go to the bottom come here press save global and call this bottom section i'll tell you why you need to do this uh, when you when we're creating a new page it makes it much much easier go here press save cool now let's go back now we go to add new page now we go here hair services path hair services and create a new page okay so we can create from blank because we just saved up quite a few things so let's go to saved sections global sections top part there you go look at that magic bottom part then in the middle we're gonna go for sections right there foot one column headline then a calendar that calendar is gonna be the hair services calendar there you go and here we can put book for hair services and obviously we added the price on etc now we need to connect this page and our home page so let's go back let's go to here let's go back to home okay so now we're here remember we made this so this book now we need to make sure that this is connected when you click it, it goes to that page we just made so let's go to button actions goes to go to page page goes to hair services page okay then obviously do the same for the other two nail and makeup okay so here's the website pretty much done here you now book now bring the best in team hair services let's go for hair book now and here we are we can come here and we can book a time now let's run automations off this so you come here book a time that we want select it and then what's cool is that the payments there as well okay so you got google pay as well you got card all good now let's do the automations for this so what i want to happen is that when someone books and pays they get notified and the client like my client gets notified and go create workflow and start from scratch so this is what we're going to do i'm going to talk you through it it's pretty simple okay so our trigger is going to be customer booked appointment here add filters then in calendar our calendar was the hair services calendar and then that's it press save so when it, sorry yep just get rid of that save so whenever someone books on that hair services calendar we just showed you this will fire off so then we typed in here internal notification then we have the type of notification to a notification which will ping my lead connector mobile app this first playlist here that is the playlist about, lead connect about the lead connector mobile app i have 11 playlists 1 to 11 talking about everything from the beginning number one two two three four five teaching about websites automation ai etc so watch those boom so then the contact name has paid for hair services our appointment started in time so this will automatically fill out whatever their name is and whatever time and date they picked will automatically fill out the way you do that is you go to this thing here go to contact user is us contact is them so contact full name blah 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 and then you also have for the appointment you got appointment start date and time which is that one there okay do that particular user me then that's for us that's that's um that's reminding us the business owner or in their case that their business owner once you've put them into your sub account if you want one-on-one -on -one support with me you know what to do now we're gonna send an email okay just come here type in email send an email we're sending an email to the customer saying boom uh happy appointments for that time add to your outlook so we can do that just go to appointment then you can uh add to your outlook and out to google calendar now we're gonna then we're gonna wait 30 minutes before and send do the same thing remind the business owner and the customer so you just do a wait step then you go here to wait before okay wait before 30 minutes save it done press save publish it and that automation will fire off done 
Okay, so this is the hair services calendar automation. So when someone comes in this, we want to tag them, okay? So this is going to link to our CRM. We're tagging them with hair services, okay? Add new tag, boom, like that. So whenever someone books in, they're going to be tagged in the system as hair services. Let's save this. I'll show you now we're going to create a CRM smart list for our business owners. So let's create this little folder section for people tagged with hair services that will be very useful for the business owner. Let's go to more filters. Let's go to tag is, sorry, is, and it's the hair services, hair services. Apply and right at the bottom, save as smart list. You want to name this as hair services. So the business owner, whenever they want to know who, so here we are, just because we created it, no one's here at the moment. So the biz, this is useful for the business owner because once loads of people come down this calendars, whatever calendar, they can now reactivate all the leads that let's say in the previously have had their hair serviced or, you know, had a haircut or whatever. They can go to the CRM, click on this little um, smart list here and then blast all these people that previously had a haircut, blast them with an SMS. You can blast them with a SMS, blast them with an email saying, blah, 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 discount code come this Friday super useful for businesses okay so yeah if you want if this was useful please please like the video and share it um and share the video if that was useful to your friends and if you've got any questions let me know uh, if you want more of these videos i don't know if people would like to see these kind of videos if you do please let me know in the comments comment um and if people enough people want it then i'll do more if not then i'll stop